Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting and the I See Oswestry page on Facebook. This is Oswestry we've just zoomed in. Now we're looking at Mordor in the centre of the screen. Just to point it out, it's underneath these letters here. And you're joining me today for a quick bike ride down through Nanty House, which is this tiny little road with a string of houses along it. As we zoom in here on it, you can see... Um, that somehow was, well, like many places out in the countryside, got its own place name, despite the fact it is effectively just a country lane with a stream running at the side of it. So, I thought we would hop on my bike. This was recorded a few months ago before all of the summer greenery and hedges had grown up, so you've got a better chance of seeing a little bit more of the surroundings. And this is one of those places that a lot of people know the name of in the area. Not necessarily a lot of people could pinpoint it on a map or indeed spell it, as you just saw it on the screen there. Um, and it's one of those beautiful, beautiful rural areas that, again, sums up so much of what I love about growing up and living out here. Got the iconic red post box there on that little, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, T-junction sort of uh, area. And I just wanted to really share this as another one of these iconic places with a stream, as I say. I couldn't quite get a decent uh, shot of the stream at the side on the right-hand side here. And it just runs down the entire little village, hamlet, whatever you would like to call this place. And it's, again, it's just a beautiful little place. And there's so many of these areas that somehow end up with their own place names, despite the fact it's just a handful of houses that have been scattered around the place over the course of centuries. they like, absolutely beautiful. And something that's strange about Nanty House for my own life is that I've somehow known quite a few people who live out here and up at Gronwyn, just up the hill from here too. In fact, one of my best friends from school actually lived out here at Nanty House. And... Something that my dad has never forgotten was that when my friend said that he lived in Nanty House, I thought he said Antique House, as if it was some kind of old mansion or something, and very excitedly ran off to tell my dad, he lives in an antique house, he lives in an antique house, and was very disappointed when my dad must have responded with, what on earth are you talking about? Are you sure he doesn't just live at an antique house? So, again... It's amazing as well, like I can remember coming out to one of my dad's friends who lived out in one of these houses too. Uh, yeah, so many people from such a small area, small collection of houses that have come in and out of my life over the years. Um, this was my attempt to get a shot of the tiny little stream that's running down just over the edge of that field, but unfortunately it was a useless attempt. Um, yeah, so as we come to the end of our video now, You'll find at the very end of this video, there's even a little white finger sign pointing in different directions to different places. It doesn't get more iconic sort of British countryside than that, if you ask me. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at yet another place that I've got so many great memories of. Uh, out cycling and walking with my friends over the years. And well, again, visiting people, friends and all that. So I just really wanted to, as I've done so many times recently, just document this place on camera for future generations to see what it actually looked out, out here in my day. So thanks so much for tuning in. Check the links in the description for all sorts of other local stuff. Feel free to like the Facebook page and add me on Facebook, all that sort of stuff. And until the next time, my friends, keep it interesting. Keep it cycle-worthy. Have a fantastic day. And of course, my friends, farewell.